Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about the urinary system in chapter 13.2. As everyone know, this is a very long and complicated chapter. So I will make this topic into two videos. Alright, so let's start. Alright guys, so when we are learning this chapter, urinary system, there is one very very important organ that you guys must know, which is the kidney. Now everyone, look at this diagram. This is a kidney and in our human body, we actually have two kidneys. So this kidney is actually one of it. Before we continue, we need to know what is the functions of the kidney in our body. The kidneys has two functions. The first one is it plays a very important role in excretion because the kidney is the main organ that help us to produce the urine. Second functions of the kidney is osmoregulation. Osmo in biology, H2O. Regulation, regulate. So basically, kidney also plays a very important role in controlling the volume of the water in our body. Now, maybe you think that these two functions of the kidney is very hard to imagine or very hard to understand. To make things simple, I'm going to say the kidney main function is to filter the blood. Now, let's say today you are going to filter the water in your house. What are you going to do? You are going to let the water to go through the filter so that the water can be filtered, right? So same goes to the kidney. To filter the blood, the blood must go into the kidney so that it can be filtered. And after being filtered, so the blood will come out so-called as the clean blood. The artery that sends the blood into the kidney is called the renal artery. The blood vessel that sends the blood out from the kidney is called the renal vein. So this is how the kidney filter the blood. The blood goes into the kidney, go through the kidney, come out as a clean blood. So for now, we are going to look into the structure of the kidney. Now, we are going to cut the kidney into half and see what is inside the kidney. Kidney has three regions. The first region is called the pelvis. Pelvis has a function to collect the urine. Now later, we will talk about this pelvis. The second layer will be the medulla. And the last layer is called the cortex. Inside the kidney, between the cortex and the medulla, it has millions of functioning units, which we call the nephron. So if you ask me who is the one who cleaned the blood, I would say, the functioning unit in the kidney, the nephron. So in order to filter the blood, the blood comes in, the blood will go through the nephron. And then this blood will be filtered and those waste product or unwanted substances will be collected at the pelvis here. And then the fluid which we call the urine will be sent to the bladder through the ureter. Okay, so now come back to this picture. So the blood after being filtered by the nephron will be sent out from the kidney and back to the heart. So this cycle will repeat. Now, once you understand the structure of the kidney already, then we are going to focus on the functioning unit, the nephron. So let's go to the next slide. Now guys, basically this is how the nephron looks like when we zoom into the nephrons. And of course, this structure, which looks like an octopus here, is not belongs to the nephron. This structure belongs to the circulatory system. And we call this vessel as the efferent arterial. And the other side, we have the efferent arterial. Okay, so now we can focus on the parts of the nephrons already. Now, basically, nephron can be divided into five parts. The first part will be here, the Bowman's capsule. Not sure why we call it as a bowman. Maybe it looks like a bow. All right, so the second part of the nephron will be the proximal convoluted tubule. Proximal, it has the meaning of near. So we call this as proximal convoluted tubule because this tubule is near to the bowman capsule. The third part of the nephron will be the loop of Henle. Number four, the structure right here is called the Distal convoluted tubule. Distal, it means away. We call this tubule as distal convoluted tubule because it is away from the Bowman capsule. All right, let's come to the last part. Now, the last part of this 
to view is called the collecting duct. And now basically this duct is collecting the final products of the fluid. So let me briefly talk about what is happening in the nephron when it's trying to filter the blood. As we mentioned just now, the blood must be sent into the nephron and force some fluid enter the nephron and come out through the efferent arterial. But the blood will not just go like that. It still needs to get back the water and those important nutrients from the nephron. So the blood vessel will get closer to the nephron so that they can get back what they want. So some of the nutrients will be reabsorbed back to the blood capillaries. So all these important nutrients will be reabsorbed back to the blood. Now, of course, we still have something that we don't want. For example, like the toxic, like the waste product in our body, we will secrete it from our blood into the tubule. Now, bear in mind that my blue arrow is actually showing you the substance is moving from the tubule to the blood. While from the green arrow, it shows you the substance is moving from the blood to the tubule. So these two process is actually in the different directions. For the process of the blue arrow, we call it as the reabsorption. For the green arrow, it's the process of secretion. Alright, so we will talk about the reabsorption and secretion in the next video.